Hey, what's up everybody? I uh, hope you're having good uh, fall, uh, October. Um, so I wanted to do a Currently Inked, uh, but I also have a few updates for the channel. So I thought I would just combine these. So one thing is that uh, if you've followed my channel, you've probably seen that I like to dabble around in some uh, board game, uh, card game kind of stuff. So game design related things. I've actually created a separate channel. Uh, it's uh, I'll link it if you want. I would love for you to follow along, but uh, I've noticed with the fountain pen, ink, paper community, uh, not a lot of people have cared about card games or things like that. So anyway, the uh, channel is called Constant Chaos Games, and uh, it'll look like a whole bunch of brand new videos. I just copied, pasted those over to the new channel, <clears throat> and those span all the way back to, uh, you know, January of 2020, uh, when I was uploading some things there. I do mostly fountain pen community stuff, but I am going to throw in some, you know, random show and tell fun things that I'm enjoying. Um, I know I appreciate those, uh, but I would love to hear feedback from you guys in the comments if you like or don't like that um, but as well as some like things that are helping me um, life hacks productivity or you know sometimes just random fun things so uh, as far as the uh, channel itself I know I've got a few projects that I've talked about one of those is the spreadsheet uh, I I was calling it the fountain pen database and it's not really a data it's more of a spreadsheet and I haven't worked on it for a while it's uh, but I'm calling it the fountain pen lookup comparison tool and I will link that in the description if you're new to my channel you're not sure um, it's actually a really cool idea uh, that I had and that others have helped me with and it's not to list every colorway of every pen with every type of nib. That would be cool. That would also be nearly impossible. Uh, but this lookup tool is, uh, you know, somewhat achievable if you limit it to pen model. And you just say, all right, I'll allow me Safari. We're not going to go into all the colors, but what is the, you know, what are the measurements, the... You know, is a snap cap versus a screw cap? Things, um, things that you would maybe want to compare with other pens. So if you're, you know, curious, well, I like this this width of a of a grip. Uh, I only like pens that have a twist cap, or I'm looking for a piston filler. Things like that. Anyway, it's still quite a onerous task and it's not ever going to be you know 100% perfect but uh, yes it, it's still in the works I'll list it and uh, updates will be coming on that uh, another project I'm thinking about is doing some homemade walnut ink uh, I have a walnut tree it's not a black walnut it's an English walnut and we get lots of walnuts and you don't need that many to make ink um, as far as putting it in a fountain pen i wouldn't put it in anything expensive so uh, i'm going to maybe buy a platinum preppy load that up uh, see what it looks like but i know from personal experience uh, husking walnuts and you get some of that residue on your hands it doesn't come off forever you have, uh, in fact, I don't know if you can see, my thumb is a little bit brown here. Uh, that's from walnut, a walnut husk. Um, it's been probably a week almost. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's super interesting. And I think the idea of making your own ink uh, is probably not worth the hassle, but I think it'd be a fun experiment. So I'd love to hear in the comments if you've tried to make your own, if you... Uh, have any tips I've seen tons of things online um, so but yeah I'd love to know if you've tried it if you've made some if you've put it in a fountain pen that would be interesting 
so what else? I think the last thing before I jump into Curly Inked is I am getting close to 500 subscriptions on my channel, which is really, really cool. And uh, I would like to put together uh, a giveaway of sorts. So uh, this is more of just a heads up. Uh, I will uh, let you know more as I get closer. So if you are uh, and uh, I'll do a giveaway. One of the requirements will be that you're a subscriber. So if you're on the fence and you're like, I don't know if I should subscribe, go ahead and do it. Uh, if this pushes you over the limit and it'll it'll get me to 500 even quicker. So I've got some great ideas on things I can give away. All right. Well, that's it for this. Let's jump into currently inked stuff. All right. Uh, so for currently inked, this is uh, October. I wanted some good fall colors, but I've got some colors that aren't really fall right now. Um, and then I inked up some new ones that are more like autumn colors. So let's dive in first with the lesser of the autumn. Um, this uh, Twisby 580, um, I've it just has such a huge ink capacity that uh, I haven't been able to put new ink in it for a little while. So this is Twisby. The ALR. This is in a fine nib. And the ink is Diamine. Aurora Borealis. Let's do kind of a swatch here. Let's do a smear. So yeah, that doesn't scream fall, but it's a beautiful color, wonderful ink, great pen. I tend to keep it inked up a lot and the huge capacity. So in a similar vein, um, this Jin Hao 9019. I just recently made a video review on this pen and it is a wonderful, nice, uh, girthy pen. Also not inked up necessarily with fall colors. This one is in a medium nib, nice and juicy. Has Emerald of Shabor. Got some swatch there. So again, not exactly a fall color, but I don't know, is there a season or a time when these colors are not in season. I mean, they're, they're kind of universal. Okay, up next is a Platinum Preppy. I've got this in the 05, so medium. And this is medium. And I have the infamous Bay State Blue. Uh, this blue just really pops. Uh, I'm glad that I've been able to try it. I can see what people are talking about. It's definitely, it's definitely nice. Um, this one is uh, probably the least fall of a color, but hey, you know, I have it inked up right now. So what are you going to do? Okay, um, all right, and then the Pilot Elite. This one is also, um, takes me a while to get through because it's a fine nib. This one is the, this is 14K. This is Diamine Earl 
little gray. So yeah, this one, it's not a terribly huge ink capacity, but uh, the fine nib, I just, it go, it takes a while to go through it. So it's also not exactly fall, although I think, you know, of these, that Earl Grey is probably the closest. I mean, you got Halloween coming up, you've got uh, things drying and out and, uh, you know, gray, gray skies. I think that could fit. It's a little more of a stretch. Um, let's go to some three more pens I've got. And these ones do have more of a fall color. Uh, so I've got the Jin Hao X750. And this one, nice wet nib in it. And it's a medium. This is Noodler's Brown. Um, I haven't had the best luck with Noodler's inks, so I haven't been buying uh, tons of Noodler's. Besides the Bay State Blue, I, I just had to try it. Uh, but this brown I've had for a while, and I just, just haven't got to using it. Yeah, I like, I like that shade of brown. Um, I've got some browns on my list that I really want to try, but this is a good one. And brown really works with autumn, the harvest. I think it's great. Okay, this next one, sorry, is a Jin Hao 80. It's this nice uh, burgundy color. This is a Lamy nib that I put in it. Lamy, Lamy, I, sorry. Uh, this is Diamine Red Dragon, which is just a nice solid red. The leaves changing colors and yeah, I think this, uh, you know, these two here are certainly really good fall colors. Maybe the gray, um, yeah, kind of makes up for my lack of fall in those other ones. Okay, last but certainly not least for inked up right now is this uh, Lamy Vista Black. It's the Goulet Pens Exclusive. Great pen. I'm really enjoying this one. Forgot to mention this is a scrap page uh, William Hanna paper because uh, I use that paper a lot with my notebook. So William Hanna. All right, this is the black. This is a medium nib, and this is diamine pumpkin. And if this isn't a fall color, then, I don't know, insert funny joke or pun right there. I mean, obviously, this is, a, this is the color for fall. So, um, overall, I think these are going to be great to work with. Uh, these top three, not so much fall, but they're just good colors. And these four, I think, are Perfect, especially the bottom three. So I'd be curious to know in the comments what you have inked up for fall um, and any uh, any specifics that you look for in uh, this time of year. So thank you for hanging out. Uh, please uh, give my videos a like if you would. That really helps me out. And uh, as I said earlier, I am close to 500 subscribers. So uh, please subscribe and I will be uh, doing uh, some kind of giveaway for my 500 when I reach that. All right. Thanks. We'll talk to you later.